Um We just finished our welding project on the lawnmower. Um, so we just figured now's a good time to do a how-to on winterizing your uh, lawnmower. Believe it or not, sometimes we don't uh, always have the best timing, but it is fall right now, so we are actually hitting this one on time. I'm going to let Dan go into winterizing a lawnmower for the wintertime. Um, go ahead and take it away, Dan. Okay, uh, when you winterize your lawnmower, basically all you're doing is just making sure the fuel is stable and, you know, uh, all your components are uh, not going to rust, stuff like that. So what I do is every time I get a five-gallon, uh, fill it up a five-gallon bucket or can of gas, bucket. I uh, always add stable, two ounces to five gallons, put it in there, that way I don't have to worry about it, summer, whatever. So, let's say you don't have that, you're going to put stable in the mower, you're going to run it for a little while, let the, maybe put some stable in the last time you mow your lawn, let that run through the system, run through the carb and all that. Then you're going to go to like a Walmart or local marina and get this thing called fogging oil. What this does is we're going to spray it down the carburetor while the unit's running, and it's going to cover and coat all the internal uh, parts and just make sure they don't rust so in the spring it's an easy startup. So now you do that last, so you like one, right. once you're done mowing for the season, then you throw that yeah. in there? Yeah, okay. you throw this in there. Uh, there's a couple ways you can fog. When you're fogging, you'll see some smoke come out. That's good. Shut it out there. A lot of times you'll spray too much and it'll just shut it down. That's okay too. Uh, so what we're going to do is we've already had this one running. So basically all you do is uh, pull the air box, pull out the filter, and as it's running, we're going to spray it. Uh, a couple other things to do, which is good. A lot of people like to change their oil at this time and spark plug. Um, I do mine in the spring. You know, it just depends. You know, it's an argument. Some people are like, you know, oh, we got old, old oil in there all winter or, you know, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I like to do it in the spring. So we'll go ahead. We're all stable up. We're ready to go. We're going to have Eric pull a starter here, and then we'll show you how it fogs. So. Another thing you might want to do, too, is clean, clean your lawnmower for wintertime, get all the grass on there so you don't have any moisture sitting underneath the deck to rust the deck, too. So. Yeah, and that's why we actually just fixed this mower because the deck was rusting. This was, what was it, 1988? Yeah, thank This you. is Eric's mower from 1988, and it still yeah, runs. it still runs. And we're going to start it? Go ahead and start it. Now prime it. That's it. As you can see, some smoke was coming out. That means the oil is in there burning. Um, you don't really have to flood it. Like I said, a lot of people just spray until the engine stops. I mean, I don't know if that's the proper way to do it, but I like it to burn up in there a little bit, coat the rings, coat all that. So that's it. We put it all back together. She's winterized, ready for spring. Start right up. So that's how to winterize your lawnmower. For more, go to toolsinaction.com. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page. Toolsinaction.com. When one tool just isn't enough. <laughs>